What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. Downton Abbey was released in January 2011 with a group of unfamiliar actors. Today, they are one of the richest actors thanks to the show and the 2019's film by the same name. If you thought Dame Maggie Smith is the richest one because of her extensive acting career, well, you're wrong. Without any further ado, here are the net worths of the main Downton Abbey actors, in ascending order. Robert James Collier, $1.1 million Robert James Collier played the leading role as supporting butler, formerly First Footman, Thomas Barrow in Downton Abbey, from 2010 to 2015. But you might also know him from his role as Kevin O'Dowd in ITV's 2016 crime drama The Level. As one of the most famous British actors, James's story is different from the rest. For instance, he did not study acting. He is clearly born of talent, and because of how good of a performer he is, the actor has a net worth of $1.1 million. We also need to mention that before the show's release, James's net worth was not even close to a million. I'll teach you to read. And write, too, if you want. I must be too stupid. Alan Leach, $1.2 million. Alan Leach also joined the Millionaire's Club after his role in Downton Abbey. In the show, he plays the role of Tom Branson. His character got married to Lady Sybil, a character portrayed by Jessica Rose Brown Finley. We feel the need to mention that the TV series costs about $1 million to produce one episode. Yes, you heard that right. When you consider the fact that the show ran for six seasons and featured five Christmas specials, this totals to, well, a whopping amount. Phyllis Logan, $1.8 million. Logan has a net worth of $1.8 million and the actress is mostly known thanks to her role as Lady Jane Felsham in Lovejoy and Mrs. Hughes, later Carson, in Downton Abbey. She won the BAFTA Award for Most Promising Newcomer for the 1983 film Another Time, Another Place. Her other famous roles are in Secrets and Lies, Shooting Fish, and Misbehavior. Hugh Dancy, $2 million. Downton Abbey 2 will include some new cast additions, meaning that four new stars would be joining the cast. Dominic West, Natalie Bate, Hugh Dancy, and Laura Haddock. So who is Hugh Dancy, and more importantly, who will he play? Interestingly enough, it won't be the first time for Hugh to play in a period drama. One of his best-known roles is in the 2000 film adaptation of David Copperfield. However, he is also known for his roles in Hannibal, The Path, and Black Hawk Down. The creators are yet to reveal the role Hugh Dancy will be playing in the Downton sequel, but there's a photo of him on set. In the photo, the actor is alongside Michelle Dockery's character Lady Mary Crawley. His net worth is considered to be $2 million, but expect that amount to go up when Downton Abbey 2 is released. Joanne Froggett, $2 million one of Downton Abbey's most powerful characters is the one of Anna Smith Bates, amazingly portrayed by Joanne Froggett. We strongly believe audiences loved Anna a lot for her dedication, resilience, and dignity. For her role in Downton, she got three Emmy nominations for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series and won the Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress on Television in 2014. You will be pleased to hear that Joanne is coming back to reprise her role once again in the future sequel of Downton. Laura Carmichael, $2 million what a transformation! Laura Carmichael plays Lady Edith in Downton, and fans knew her as unhappy, empty, and troubled. However, we've seen Karma doing some pretty amazing things at the end of Downton. The character was happily in love, living in an amazing castle. Since the TV show ended, Laura has appeared on UK television shows Marcella and the Spanish Princess. Laura Haddock, 2 million. Laura Haddock is one of the new additions in Downton Abbey 2, and just like her new edition co-star, she's also familiar with period dramas, so we can expect an amazing performance by her in the sequel. The actress has previously appeared in the Inbetweeners movie, Upstairs, Downstairs, The Musketeers, and Da Vinci's Demons. Sadly, the character she'll play in Downton is not revealed yet. There was something Mr. Branson said about deciding what matters. For me, the crown matters more than any of us. Natalie Bay, 2 million. Natalie Bay is a French actress that is also joining the cast of the new Downton film. Just like her new co-star Maggie Smith, she also has an extensive film career performing in successful hits, such as The Assistant and Catch Me If You Can, a film in which she acted alongside Leonardo DiCaprio. According to The Sun, Natalie will star in Downton Abbey 2 as an old friend of Violet Crawley, Dowager Countess of Grantham, who is played by Maggie Smith. Dominic West, $2 million Dominic West is yet another new addition to Downton Abbey 2, and he has a pretty impressive acting career with plenty of roles under his belt. 
The actor has appeared in BBC's The Pursuit of Love in May, and most recently, he will star in The Crown Series 5. According to the Daily Mail's Baz Bimmick Boy, the actor will play a rich aristocrat who is invited to stay at the enormous house by Lord Grantham. We sense a little drama here, don't you? Matthew Good, $3 million. One of the richest actors in Downton Abbey is Matthew Good, with $3 million into his bank account. Aside from his role as Henry Talbot, Lady Mary's second husband in Downton, he also played Tony Armstrong Jones, Princess Margaret's husband, on The Crown. Two very different characters, but both amazingly portrayed by Good. Jim Carter, $4 million. Jim Carter plays butler to the Crawley family, Carson. However, Downton didn't exactly bring him recognition as he was previously known for period dramas, Shakespeare in Love, My Week with Marilyn, and the BBC series Cranford. His net worth is considered to be $4 million. I'm glad you're here, Mr. Carson. I must go where my king needs me. Michelle Dockery, $4 million. Michelle Dockery became really famous when she was cast in Downton Abbey as Lady Mary Crawley, eldest daughter of Cora and Robert, a role for which she's received three Emmy nominations and one Golden Globes nod. With a $4 million net worth, Michelle is now one of the most successful actresses in Hollywood. Elizabeth McGovern, $4 million. Elizabeth McGovern started her acting career way back in 1979. She plays Cora Crawley in Downton, and her character is known as the wealthy American who struggles mostly because of her controlling mother. McGovern has nothing but nice words to say about her experience on the show, and she also claims she loves her character a lot. She received an Academy Award nomination for her role as Evelyn Nesbitt in the 1981 film Ragtime. But not so many people know that McGovern is also a musician. Yes, she plays with her jazz folk band Sadie and the Hotheads, and according to her, a music career is much more fulfilling than an acting one. I'm afraid I do feel let down, O'Brien, I really do. And right on top of the wedding, you said... Brendan Cole, $5 million. With a net worth of $5 million, Brendan Coyle is one of the richest Downton Abbey actors. In the show, as well as the 2019 film, Coyle portrays John Bates, Lord Crawley's valet, and Anna's love interest. Maggie Smith, $7 million. Dame Maggie Smith is an actress with quite an extensive acting career. The iconic actress is mostly known for her portrayal of Minerva McGonagall in the Harry Potter franchise, and in Downton Abbey, Maggie plays Violet Crawley, Dowager Countess of Grantham, and mother of Lord Crawley. Despite the controversial ending in the first film, it was confirmed that the actress will come back to reprise her role in the next film. You'll take over from where I left off. You'll be the frightening old lady. Keep it. Hugh Bonville, $8 million. Hugh Bonville is the richest actor in Downton Abbey with an $8 million net worth. He plays Robert Crawley, Earl of Grantham in the show, and is also expected to come back for the future Downton film. We also need to mention that viewers who watched his interview on BBC's The One Show recently were quite surprised because they weren't expecting to see Bonville looking so fit. For those of you wondering, it's really him. He certainly looks unrecognizable with an amazing weight loss and cropped locks. I've given my life to Downton. I was born here and I hope to die here. Who's your favorite actor from Downton Abbey? Also, do you think the cast of Downton is fairly paid? Let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.